more than $800,000 in revenue. Everybody should be welcome to go. I would like to experience my culture, but and I would also like to be a solid American citizen. The June 5th meeting was reportedly packed with supporters, but opponents say that's only because they didn't know about it. And now they hope their voices are loud enough before the district makes a final decision July 17th. They seem to do anything they want in Burbank these days, and, and the... I think the people that live here don't really have an input, nor do they know what's going on a lot, just like this. And neighbors say they're concerned about zoning, too. They say because they had heard the previous company that was in here, there were 30 employees, and now they're concerned to have 120 students. On top of that, the city told us, though, that their hands are tied when it comes to zoning, that this decision is entirely up to the school board. We reached out to the school board as well as the charter company, but nobody returned our calls today. Reporting live in Burbank, I'm John Kaitis, Clean Mac, NBC4 News.